She's magically grown cheese boobs. <laughs> Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Hey guys and welcome back to another video on 7 Second Riddles. But today I'm joined for my husband Kyle. Hello. I thought you could help me today. You've made a grave mistake. Why? I can't do riddles. Me neither. I'm That's really why not. I brought you here so... We can fail together. So this one is called 10 Detective Riddles that every high school student can solve. So. Okay, so we should do these then. <laughs> well, we should be able to do this and if we can't, then we are failures. Back to school. I love that. Let's that have a look. Saying? you got to use your brain power on this. Okay. It'll get your brain going. The juice is flowing. I don't have a brain. My so. brain juice. Stop saying that. Why do you always say brain that? juice. Okay. Somebody was stealing the most expensive cheese okay literally me from the supermarket from the supermarket that says cheese shop yeah that's not a supermarket i've already it? busted the riddle <laughs> this riddle is a lie are cheese shops even a thing yeah they can be the thief came every monday and stole cheese unnoticed okay so he's coming every monday finally the manager called a private detective all that to catch someone stealing cheese very expensive cheese maybe. what happened to the cctv maybe they don't have any okay so there's the manager and the detective okay he watched the footage okay so there oh, is so they did have it yes and immediately identified the thief okay well what, what part's the <laughs> riddle i'm confused who stole it i already know you already know who stole the yeah. cheese can you work it out i already i just noticed already straight away um it's really obvious is it yeah i don't get this riddle <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, okay. I think it's the woman in the green top because look at her at the top image and then look at her at the bottom. Oh, right. I get it now. What's changed? Okay, yeah, it was her. It was her. Right. She put cheese up at top. I get it. She was so desperate for the cheese. <laughs> look, she's like flat chested there. And then here, she's magically grown cheese boobs. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's gross. Ew, the cheese would be all warm. She hid the cheese under a shirt. Okay, I get it. I was completely clueless to you that. failed the riddle. I did. I'm a terrible de detective. Ellie was a cloakroom attendant. Okay. She was killed in the restaurant she worked at. Oh, This oh, has escalated. Damn, she dead on the ground. Oh, she dead. Oh, there's a coat next to her. The police found her holding a jacket. Which makes sense. They found out it belonged to the killer. <gasps> the like killer air. is obviously Paul because they don't have AirPods. I Am I right? Those aren't AirPods. <laughs> I know. Peasants. We don't have AirPods. No, we don't, know. <laughs> they held the last customers of the restaurant. Whose jacket is it? Okay, well, the guy in the middle has his earphones. Yeah. So it's so not it's him. So it's gonna be... It looked like... What, a woman's what? jacket? Uh, yeah, it I think it's been. a woman. It looked like a woman's jacket. Okay. But well, could... you were wrong. It's a man's jacket. <laughs> He's already got earphones. What? Show me the jacket again. And he, this happy guy is the killer. Yeah, it's a man's jacket. I mean, unisex though. A woman could wear that. Which is why I get you to dress me. You know what though? I guessed wrong too. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Karen never had any friends. Oh, poor Karen. Oh. Everyone at school called her a weirdo. I relate to this on an emotional level. And kept away from her. Why? That's mean. At the prom, Karen felt bad and went to the bathroom. Okay. Why? Oh my god! An hour later she was found dead? Karen! Has someone poisoned her? What? What is happening? It's escalated. So what is these riddles? I when you said, oh come join me for riddles, I thought it were like like a line of like text and we'd be like, ooh, figure it out. But this is <laughs> Mental. Why are people dying? Wait, is she at prom? She's not. She, she was. No, she? she was at prom, and then she had to go to the bathroom because she felt ill. Someone hit her on the head from behind, so she went to the toilet. So it's a girl. The police interviewed the suspects. It looks like a rave, not. It a prom. does. <laughs> Who is this Karen? I don't know. Harry okay. doesn't know her. I was dancing with my girlfriend. That's his alibi. He's got an alibi. We have been friends since childhood. Thought she had no friends. Ah, but I didn't see her leaving. Apparently, she's got mm. no friends, and it's in the and girls' bar. Anna's a liar. Bathroom. Oh, there's another one. I spent the entire party by the bar. Oh, she has witnesses too. Oh, so the only one without witnesses is the is her. Is her with the green? The one on the left. She's the murderer. The one on the left. It was. Yeah. It was Anna in the green shirt in the bathroom. Karen had no friends. Why did he need a gun? A important question. A man walks into a bar and asks the bartender for a glass of water. Okay. Why are they both hipsters? Why is he in water at a bar? Unless he's already drank. But the bartender takes out a gun and aims it at the man's head. What? Wow. He just pulled out a shotgun. He only wanted water. What is going on? The man says, thank you for your help and walks out. Why? 
What? So he walks into the bar. Yep. He asks for a glass of water. Yep. The guy then pulls out a gun. And puts it to his head. And he says, thank you for your help and walks out. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense to me. I am so confused. Why does he need a gun? Has he got something to do with it being a bar and him asking for water? Because that's the first thing you picked up on. You were like, why is he going to a bar and ask for water? Why isn't he asked for a beer or like a cocktail or something? I do, I'm genuinely don't I haven't got a clue. Know. I'm stupid. Is it going to be something really obvious? I don't know. I don't get it. Hmm. I'm excited to find out. I'm genuinely curious now. Is it because they're both hipsters? Look at them. It is because... The man had hiccups! He wanted to cure it with a glass of water, but the bartender cured it by giving him a surprise. I get that. I get but it, but I would I get have never it, have guessed that. But we'll that. never get no. that. No. That's... <laughs> That's insane. Ah. I honestly forgot hiccups were a thing. Oh no, Andrew was found dead in his apartment. There's a lot of people dying. Yeah. Three suspects were around when he died. Anne, Mike and Otto. I like Otto's name. Ooh, there's a letter. The police found a note with a hint to his murderer's name. Why would anyone leave a note with a name? Maybe he knew it? he was being chased or something. One, two, two, one. The following numbers. One, two, two, one. It's Otto. Why? It's Otto. How <laughs> do you know it's that? Le it's letters. Letters? Yeah. How's that letters? So in this, it's algebra. So in this case, o it's Otto is zero T T, is O T T O. So the one is an O and the two is a T. It's algebra. It's Otto. Why, what Play the, the video. What were the other people called? Uh, Mike and something else. Oh, it could be Anne. Oh no. Why could it be Anne? Because, oh no, it isn't Anne. <laughs> Anne doesn't end in an A. This is where I'm really wrong. And I'm going to be fuming. Who killed Andrew? Otto. I'm telling you. <laughs> Trust me. I'm a detective. Why would you do this, Otto? I liked your name. Yeah, you've been betrayed. It's Otto. Right. Because it's algebra. We'd make great detect. Oh my goodness, another one. A well-known chef, Mr. Linguini, was stabbed. I love his name. The police suspect three employers at the restaurant. I know it is. What? The one with the knife. He was stabbed. The one with the knife. He was stabbed. <laughs> He's literally bit, he says he's been stabbed. There's only okay. one of them with a knife. <laughs> What's he done? Stabbed him with a mixing spoon? Could have. Okay, I'm going to go with the person with the knife too. And there's like a pair of bloody gloves in the bin. Oh, wow. <laughs> right yeah, I didn't see him. those. <laughs> oh, it's a woman. Is it? Yeah, she's I love how it zooms in on the knife. Look at that. Like, Look hmm. at the bloody gloves there. Yeah, that's it's it's her. It was the trash can. The trash can did it. Wait! Oh no! It was the man with the mixing spoon. It's because he's not wearing gloves. It makes perfect sense. It does, it makes perfect sense. He's not wearing gloves. <laughs> The knife wasn't we the key. We were so confident. The gloves were the key. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, we're terrible detectives. <laughs> you just said we were great detectives. The police were called in by Alice the maid after she found Mrs. James' body. I was cleaning when I heard gunshots. I called Mr. James and left a message telling him something bad had happened and he should come home immediately. Wait, isn't he already home at this point? I'm confused. The police went outside and found Mr. James approaching the house. Wait, oh, okay, I thought he was okay. dead. Okay, that's terrible. Who could have possibly shot my wife? Wait, I thought Mr. James was the one who died. I'm very confused. Also, the police arrested him immediately. <sighs> but uh -oh. why? Why? <laughs> So, yeah, I'm confused. I don't get this one. The police went outside and found Mr. James approaching the house. Is there anything on his on his person that looks suspicious? I don't know. Wait, wait, I know. He already is saying, like, who could have shot my wife? Oh. How did yeah. he know she's dead? They rang saying, his maid rang saying mm -hmm. something awful's happened, but not what it was, just yeah, that she heard a just, gunshot. He's turned up and he's like, oh no, my wife's dead. Oh, right, I get it, yeah. I hope I'm right. I think you're going to be right. Nobody told Mr. Yes. James. What had happened to his wife? Yes, I knew it. So obvious. There we go. <laughs> I'm the master riddle completer. Just well kidding. Done. I'm actually terrible at these. We're so bad. One day, May and Ben went to a party. They left little Peter home. Why? That's just asking for trouble. Yeah, that's not good. When they came back, they found Peter dead in his room. Oh my gosh. 
the biggest of yikes. Why leave your child unattended? Don't like, do you this. are asking for trouble if you do that. These are savage riddles. Okay. The suspects are the maid. The oh, babysitter. they had a babysitter. Okay, okay, that makes sense. They had a maid and a cook. How rich are these people? It's going to be the babysitter then, surely. I went to the store to get a new jar as the water dispenser was empty. So she's got an alibi. She'll be on the CCTV of the store. That's true. I was preparing Peter's dress for the next day. Okay. Hmm. Very suspicious. Hmm. Also, it's her job to keep Peter safe and she just hasn't. Yeah. I was cooking dinner for Pete. Has he... We haven't said how he's died. There was no blood or anything. Has he been poisoned? Who killed the boy? It's the babysitter or the cook. What do you think? I think it might be the cook. It's the babysitter's fault at the end of the day. Like, she should have been taking That's care true. of him. That's true. It is the babysitter's fault. But I think... Why is the cook smiling? He's I think, evil. <laughs> I think the cook killed him. <gasps> what? what? The maid did it. She claims she went to the store because the water dispenser was empty. However, the bank was full when the parents left. How did we know that? What? Go back in the video. Is there, like, a picture... It's full in the background. She didn't need to get any more I water. I just thought that was the animation. Yeah, no, we've got to pay attention. <laughs> we should be paying attention and we're not. Oh, this is... Darn it. This is so hard. Okay. Well, I thought she would have had an alibi. I would have never have guessed Maybe that. it's not a star as in like to the star. It's like a star room they've got in the oh, house because okay, they're rich. The owner of the villa was killed Saturday night. Why is there so many murders? So many people are dying. Okay. His body was found two hours after his death. Oh, I like this guy. Detective Rid was called to the sea. Look how swanky he is in his Hawaiian shirt. Strong mustache game. I like it. Okay, what are you thinking? The killer left no trace on the body. We should look around. Okay. So he's eating an apple. Yeah. There's a there's glove under a glove. the table. What is that? The there's, white thing. Can you find the evidence? So there's a glove, there's apple, and there's something else on the floor, but I don't know what it is. That's the, all the evidence we need. I'm confused. Is it going to be the glove? We're about to find out. So we've got to find the evidence, not what killed him. Like, okay. What is that? So. Oh, it is the glove. It's an old model, but I know where they sell them. Okay. Do you still have these gloves? Yes, but we don't sell many. They are only for heavy construction work. Okay. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this guy's suntan around his eyes? <laughs> Oh yeah, I've just noticed that. <laughs> like, he's been on a mega holiday. He's worn his sunglasses every day. And now he has a permanent tan mark. <laughs> I didn't notice at first, so That's we point that out. Thing, that is the first thing I noticed. I know these gloves were bought by one of the victim's neighbors. Uh oh. Oh, it was the neighbor. Okay, so we're gonna go see the neighbor. Okay, this guy has like a messed up car. Wait, are we going there? Are we going, where are we going? And then his other neighbor has a really nice house. It's really modern. Which neighbor bought the gloves? Construction work. Are we thinking it's the guy with... Construction work? It's going to be with a windmill. Yeah, if he with put the it windmill himself. on it? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. I'm Unless it was the guy who was redoing oh, his car. Redoing his car, redoing his car. You think it was that? It's yeah. a very old car too. So, it's... yeah, I'm going to go with the old yeah. car. It's hard to repair an old car like this without gloves. Mr. Gavin lives here. Mr. Gavin's the bad one. Oh, oh he's, he's missing got a one glove. glove. Good morning, detective, he says, wearing only one glove and waving. <laughs> Let me see your gloves. Why is he still wearing the glove? Okay. I lost my other glove last week, right? Why are you still wearing the other one then? Yeah. Witnesses say Gavin and his neighbor Connor sued the victim three months ago. Oh, oh it makes oh, sense. Oh, okay. And here is the second suspect. Oh, is it like two people plotting? I need your gloves. Ooh. Sorry, detective. I'm not wearing gloves at all. I never do. It can't be him then, surely. Who is the killer? <laughs> It's obviously the guy with the gloves, right? It's gotta right? be the guy with the gloves. Unless it's like a trick question. Unless he's not, he's lost it. Right, no, it's him. He's lost his glove and he doesn't think any of it, anything of it. So he's not hidden his gloves. He's not where, he's hidden both gloves. It's the one on the left. Oh, you were right. The other guy generally has lost a glove. Connor is the killer. He said he doesn't wear gloves, but his right hand is not tanned. The As tan thing was a cute a clue. On it. Oh, I didn't realize. You pointed it out and it was a clue. His left hand is tanned. There was no glove on it. He left it at the crime scene. Yes. Ooh. So the tanning thing was a clue and you picked up on it. Okay, who is a killer? Lady A or Lady B? I'm gonna guess Lady B. She's got blood on her knife. Yeah. Like, she's cutting a cucumber. Cucumbers don't bleed. No, not that I'm aware of. Unless she's cut herself. 
Oh, okay. That's... It's upside down, though. Also, She's it that's upside a, down. a hairdryer. Oh, I thought it was a gun. Okay, it's definitely beef, right? Oh, yeah. I'm say, I thought it was zooming in to be like, it's this a gun. It's just a hairdryer. It's the card. She's cutting the cucumber upside down. She yeah. is a killer. Murderer. Why is she a killer, though? Why? I actually really liked that. Did you? Yeah, I because I thought it was going to be the riddles where it's like a phrase and you have to work out an answer, but I like that because yeah. it was a video and you had to pick up clues and stuff. It is really fun, and you know what? We didn't get them all right, but we had fun doing it. And we so. got a few. We got a few right, which few is okay. Right. Yeah, we'd make okay detectives. We wouldn't solve every crime, but we'd do a good job at it, I guess. <laughs> I mean, no, we wouldn't. We'd be, we'd be awful. Don't have everyone us. would get away. Yeah, everyone would get away with murder, literally. Anyway, guys, let me know if you managed to solve all of the riddles down in the comment section below. Go and check out Kyle's channel. His link will be in the description. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Watch it go side to side, and don't forget she got that merch to buy. Yeah.